Taking a look at some of our uh, monthly high temperatures. Now, normally we're sitting just slightly above uh, 57 degrees, but we've actually been coming in at 68, which puts us nearly 11 degrees above where we should be for this time of the year. Now, all of that coming to an end, and that starts moving into tonight and early tomorrow morning. We're going to show that our temperatures across Long Island coming in upper 40s. We do show lots of 50s on the map there as well. Farmingdale, Kings Park. Park, Montauk, Shirley, uh, Stanford here getting near that 50 mark. As we zoom out, Central Park at 50, Newburgh at 45, Trenton coming in at 46 degrees. Now, we'll be getting rid of all of these clouds and moving towards those mostly clear skies. And under those clear skies and those light winds, we'll show that our suburbs going to be cooler. We're talking some 20s in the area, but for Central Park, expected to be at 36 degrees. Now, tomorrow morning, we'll be waking up with wind chills in the 20s. But you'll see that by the time the afternoon rolls around with that sunshine in place, we are expected to warm up to about 46 degrees, which is still below where we should be for this time of the year. And we'll also be factoring in some more of those breezes, much like what we did see today. Now, today's rain event, that low attached to that front there, well offshore. We're going to be dealing with a high pressure system that will be moving into our area. And that's what's going to not just keep us dry to start our work week, but also give us that sunshine. Shine. We do have that low sitting off to the north of us. That's what's allowing for that northwest uh, flow, ushering in some of those cooler temperatures. So we had that rain this morning. We've been clear since this afternoon. And we do, however, get through the night that way as well. We'll be waking up tomorrow with those clear skies, and we'll get through tomorrow afternoon with clear skies as well. Same story for Tuesday, except for when we get to Tuesday afternoon. We start to see that we do have lots of clouds filtering in. All of this ahead of our next storm system. We're expecting to see it move in late Tuesday night, and it is expected to stick around with this at least through the hours or portions of Wednesday. On some of our models, we are accumulating up to an inch and even higher in some of those isolated areas where those stronger storms uh, do set up. So again, for tomorrow, we're starting off with those below normal temperatures, and we'll be below normal at least for the next several days after that. Late day showers on Tuesday lingering into our Wednesday. By Thursday, we're drying out and our temperatures returning close to seasonable and less we're also have, going to have, we're also going to see that sunshine, and that sunshine is expected to carry us for the end of next week through our weekend, and that is also going to allow for our temperatures to hold in the upper 40s at least for Friday.